Hey everybody, I am here today to show you how to clean a blow dryer filter. I'll be going over a super easy fix for a smelly hair dryer that you might have. If you are using your hair dryer and it smells weird, then you might need to clean the filter and I'm gonna show you easily how to do that. Now I'm gonna say this, although you should probably already know it, I'm gonna say it anyways, make sure that the hair dryer is unplugged before you are working with it, okay? Make sure that it's unplugged completely and that it's cooled down if you used it rather recently, you wanna give it some time to cool down. Now you want to first and foremost locate the filter. As you can see right here, it's usually going to be on the back of the hair dryer because that's where it sucks in the air to blow it forward just like that. Now once you've located it, it's going to look like a little grate just like this right here. Once you've located it, what you want to do is you want to twist it in one way or another and then it will likely allow you to pop it off. So you know in this case I thought that I would have to twist this counterclockwise to unscrew it but in reality I have to twist it clockwise, I believe, and I twist it clockwise, just a little bit of a turn, and then it pops off, okay? Now, we have two parts to clean. The first part is this removable part right here. Now, for this part over here, what you want to do um, is you can, you can use a vacuum and vacuum it up. Um, I almost dropped it there. But for this part, since it's removable, what I like to do is I like to just wash it under water. So I'm going to turn the water on, and I'm just going to rinse it and use my fingers to remove any lint from it, just like that, any dust, just like that, okay? Now that I've rinsed it off and it's nice and clean, I'm gonna dry it and I'm gonna leave it to the side to dry. Now, obviously, do not put this back on the hair dryer and do not use the hair dryer until this is completely and absolutely dry, okay? I usually do this and then I leave it until the next day before I put it on. Now, for this part right here, you obviously don't wanna use any water on the actual device. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna vacuum it, okay? Now, before I vacuum it, I like to just get my finger and I like to just pick up as much lint as I can. Just like what I do uh, with the dryer lint catcher, you know, before I do a load of clothes in the dryer, I just use my finger and I just run it along because this actually picks up probably the vast majority of the lint. And I'll show you what I picked up. And I, I, I don't have any hair, as you can see right here. So I obviously don't use this. My wife uses this dryer, this, this hair dryer. Um, so I do this for her about once a month. Um, and this is how much lint accumulates um, in there after only about a month. So you should be doing this pretty frequently. Um, it starts to smell, the dryer starts to smell after about a month. So right now, as you can see, that's just what I picked off with my fingers. I'm gonna toss that in the garbage. Then what you can do is you can vacuum this up. Now I actually am not even sure if this vacuum has any battery. I think it doesn't or it has very little battery. So I'm gonna try and vacuum this. But uh, yeah, I mean, you're gonna vacuum it with your own vacuum, obviously. Let's see what we got here. Just like that. All right, I guess I charged it up. Nope, the battery just died. Okay, so let's turn it off now. Um, that's what you have to do. Obviously, like I said, you're gonna vacuum this thoroughly with your own vacuum, which I will do after off camera. I don't wanna waste your time watching me go get the vacuum, the other vacuum right now. Um, but you're gonna vacuum this till you get all the lint out. You're gonna wait until this completely, whoop, completely and fully dries, okay? Like I said, I usually just leave it overnight and then I do it the next morning. Um, wait until this completely fully dries, then you're gonna put it back on, um, twisting it back in place, and then your hair dryer is ready to be used again. Then you can go ahead, plug it in, and use it. Once this is completely dry, and you've put it back on in place. Remember, wait till it completely and absolutely dries. And that's it, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.